serious. What's something that was supposed to save lives but killed many instead? Charities dug loads of wells across Southeast Asia. Mostly in and around Bangladesh. In order to provide people with clean drinking water. However, as the water level in the table dropped, the concentration of arsenic in the water increased. This led to the largest mass poisoning in human history. In all, between 33 and 77 million people were exposed to dangerous arsenic levels in the water. Today, it's been estimated that as many as 20 million people are still drinking arsenic contaminated water. In Bangladesh, Oxycontin, it was definitely a money grab by the Sacklers, but the scientist that created it and the people selling it to doctors in the beginning genuinely believed that they were giving people bedridden by pain a new chance at life. That was the biggest problem. The sales reps were brainwashed into being die-hard believers and would go to any lengths to sell the drug. Many doctors became diehards too because of the promise that less than 1% become addicted. They went from under prescribing pain meds to handing them out like candy. Sure, they eventually took bribes when it turned out the stuff was addictive. But they originally believed they were helping their patients and had no idea the fire they were playing with. Asbestos. Remember when people used to think that radium is healthy and even drank radium-infused water for health? Don't Google it. Margarine. It was supposed to save us from terrible evil cholesterol in butter. But it turned out that the main ingredient, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, a trans fat, is the worst kind of fat humans can consume. Oh. And dietary cholesterol wasn't quite as bad as they thought. Oops. Heroic Strong aka, heroin. The initial plan was to provide it as a medicine, prescribed drug which soon turned into an additive substance. It is now a Schedule 1 substance, which makes it illegal for non-medical use. Needless to say it has killed many cigarette filters made with asbestos. Slow. Horrible death. Micronite filters. The wonder drug. Thalidomide. Greater than it was hailed as a wonder drug to treat conditions such as insomnia, morning sickness and depression and licensed in the UK in 1958. But it was withdrawn again in late 1961 after an Australian doctor told The Lancet he had identified an increase in the number of deformed babies born in his hospital and found that all of the mothers involved had used the drug. Greater than. Greater than by then around 10,000 babies had been born worldwide who either had shortened arms or legs. Or no limbs at all. A few of these, thalidomide children, won damages in 1968 and the rest were covered by a 1973. Out of court settlement with distillers. Who made the drug? That compensation was later increased. Though. After media attention and pressure from some of the firm's shareholders, distillers and subsequently Guinness, which bought it, have had to improve the terms of the settlement several times and have paid or agreed to pay around £200 million in total up until 2037 to the Thalidomide Trust, which distributes annual payments to the 455 people in Britain damaged by the drug and hash x 200 b i guess didn't save lives kill but just as bad lithium as a table salt although it is a salt too much is toxic great for managing mood disorders though as long as it is monitored and you don't stay on it too long dot too long on it and it is harmful to the kidneys liver some farming chemical that was used for bombs in World War I. Not sure if this fully counts. But plastic bags. 
They were developed to save trees. But plastic has been causing much worse long-term effects for our environment than deforestation to make paper bags. Ice pick lobotomies. The ancient Romans created incredible aqueducts and indoor plumbing networks bringing fresh water to cities full of people in lead pipes. Oh and the rich enjoyed lead vessels and lead cooking instruments. Many medications. Coke was considered a medicine at first you can throw opiates and shit in there. 2. Heroin was originally marketed as a non-addictive cure for morphine addiction. That didn't turn out too well. The classic example, dynamite. The religious cat killing fiasco that caused the rodent population to increase. Therefore increasing the flea population on said rodents. 75 to 200 million people x underscore x guy that tore the ozone apart with fridge chemical d a r e program got so many kids curious about drugs mao's great leap forward the idea was to kill the sparrows that were eating the seeds so the harvest would be better and more people would have food the birds died but that also meant there were no predators for the locust swarms a massive famine ensued, causing the deaths of between 15-55 million people.